So what's a cute throw on guys? What is a cute throw on? How do you accomplish a cute throw on and all that good stuff? Let's talk about it. and we're back with another video. Remember, Kiss by Bo's channel is all about style, a little bit about fashion, hella inspo, DIY, vlogging, all that good stuff. So, today's video, we're talking about how to accomplish a cute throw on, right? A lot of times, I get compliments for say, um, Bracia, your outfit is cute. Um, and when I tell you I had just threw, thrown it on, I just threw it on, right? I go in my closet and put this on real quick, put this necklace on, or I probably already have on this necklace, these earrings, you know what I'm saying? And I literally just throw it on. So today what we're gonna talk about is how to accomplish a cute throw on because a lot of times people don't know how to do it. So, three steps. There's three steps in trying to accomplish a cute throw on. We're gonna jump right on into it. Y'all ready, y'all ready? Let's do it. Step number one when accomplishing a cute throw on is you have to know how to shop, right? Sometimes people will buy things and it's like just not cute. <laughs> like, I don't I don't understand how people can try to have cute throw-ons when you buy stuff when you bought it because it was cheap or it was a good deal or I like the color, but then it's like I really don't like the shirt, but I like the color. You know, you have to remember cute throw-ons equals or is equivalent to buying something that's cute, right? So this top actually is actually going backwards, but I thought it was cute like this, right? But this is a cute throw one right put on a necklace I got on me some some shorts right here and I can kill the game you know what I'm saying it's it's cute it's simple of course I accessorize right but it's something cute that I bought it's not no basic t-shirt you know what I'm saying that's just gray and just ugly that I just wear and it's like oh that's not a cute throw on so everything I buy is cute so when you think about when you're shopping you're going about shopping it's all about buying things that you love like I don't buy if I don't love it I'm not buying it like people have buyer's remorse no i buy things that i love every single thing that i buy i love it so you have to always think of that when you buying something do you love it if you don't love it then why are you buying it it's a good deal no it's not worth it being a good deal you need to buy something that you absolutely love so i remember buying stuff you love so the first one is knowing how to shop and buying things you love number two number two is is make sure you separate these items in your closet, right? Your cute things from like your lounge wear, your workout wear, your cleaning outfits. Like I got moo, moo dresses. I have like lounging around outfits. I have like super casual outfits, right? Separate all these, even workout outfits. Separate these outfits from each other. So when you go in your closet, you pick up a cute throw and you don't pick up a workout outfit to go kick it real quick. You know what I'm saying? You don't pick up a uh, lounge wear to go get drinks, your little moo, moo No, you pick up cute stuff. So you separate that. Make sure that's like in the front of your closet. We'll talk about closet organization very soon, guys, because I have that. I have that as well. But it's all about making sure it's accessible for you. I know for me, if I don't see it, I'm not going to wear it. And if I do see it, I'm going to wear it. You feel me? So I make sure what's in my line of sight is the cute throw-ons. You feel me? Stuff like this. Now, this was actually in a drawer, but it's at the very top of the drawer. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of organize it. So stuff that I know is going to be cute when I'm wearing often is going to be at the top. Stuff I know I'm going to pull often that's cute throw-ons is going to be in the, is going to be in the front of the closet. Okay? So make sure you, so just make sure you always separate these items. Just separate your lounge wear your workout wear, just separate that from your cute throw-ons. Don't mix in between your clothes and then you gotta figure out, what do I wear, what, what do I, I don't know what to wear, people. It's like, when people be like, I had, when people say, I don't know what to wear, oh my goodness, I don't know what to wear, oh my goodness, stop it. Cause you ain't organized it appropriately. Cause your cute throw-ons is mixed in with your moo-moos, mixed in with your workout clothes, mixed in with your PJs. It needs to be separated accordingly and see in your line of vision. So you see that? That's cute. We're going to throw it on. You feel me? That's a cute throw on. And number three for cute throw ons, number three, it's all about making it effortless, right? So cute throw on is, is equal to equivalent. I think equivalent is my word of the day. Um, it's being effortlessly cute. Effortlessly cute is a thing, guys. It's definitely a thing. Essentially, when it comes to being effortlessly cute, you kind of have to, it's not kind of, you have to know your style. What's your go-to fit, right? Um, and we're going to do a whole nother video about go-to fits. Like, what is your go-to fit? I know for me, I have a, a variety of go-to fits. Not really, I only have like two. I have a white t-shirt, oversized, kind of blousey white t-shirt. I tie it in a knot or I wear it as a crop top with a cute bralette because I'm a bralette girl. I don't wear bras. Um, with like some distressed denim jeans or just some jeans or some jean shorts, you know? So my go-to is white shirt 
and denim on the bottom so you have to think too what is your go-to like what is your go-to fit that too can be your cute throw on because then you know your style but in knowing your cute throw ons and knowing your go-to fit you have to know what your style is and that's the basis of everything under the sun what is your style so many people come to me like Bracia, that's cute. I can never wear this. This is no, no. You can do anything that I'm doing, guys. I swear for God, you can. It's all about knowing your style and getting into the nitty gritty of your idea style and you the style you have now. And what's the thing in the middle that's lacking? That's not merging it too. You feel me? For a long time, I ain't even say for a long time. I remember I got to the point where um I gained weight. And then with me gaining weight, um, my style had evolved. You feel me? And it's kind of weird because it's like, I gained weight, I came into my womanly curves and jump. So I gained weight, I came into my womanly curves. And then, I'm like, I no longer want to look like I was looking in college. Like, I'm not saying a teeny bopper, but I don't want to look like long, crazy nails, super crazy mohawk blonde hair. No, I don't want to do that anymore. I want me a classic ombre, pink and white tip. You know, I want my hair color. I'm going to just keep my, rock my little natural dark brown hair color. You know what I'm saying? And wear really basics and, ex you know, crank up the accessories. You feel me? Um, and just a little bit, not even a bunch. Like, because, like, today, I could have had on hella rings and bracelets, bangles. Old bracelet used to do that. But as I got older and I gained more weight, like I was telling you all, I had to realize my as my style as I grew my style grew and that's just going on a tangent that's a whole nother topic for another day stay tuned but it's all about knowing your style for a go-to fit for a cute throw on so that's the basis of everything it's knowing your style so stay tuned because we'll talk more about knowing your style but for now if you don't for now just the basis because you may not know your style right now but for now we're going to talk about your cute throw ons one you have to know how to shop Everything you buy, you have to love. Even without you really, really knowing your style, what do you love and what do you know you look good in, right? So you kind of got to know that vibe a little bit, just a little bit, right? And then you have to separate that in your closet. So once you get that cute top in, for example, this is so basic though. Once you get like, maybe this is a cute top, I don't know. I'll use this as an example. So separate that. Don't put that with your workout clothes, your lounge clothes. Don't put this with workout clothes, your lounge clothes. Um, yeah, yeah, uh. What else? What other clothes you got? Your cleaning clothes. Don't mix it in with that. Make sure it's in your in your line of sight that you can easily pull it because it's your cute throwing, right? And then have a go-to fit, guys. Even if it's a different variation, have that go-to fit. It's all about you, you feel me? But that go-to fit is something that you feel good in. Something that um, rocks your world. Something that makes your... Rocks your socks. Um, things of that nature. Like, have that go-to fit and then have that be a cute throne as well and just give variations of those as well and of course everything goes back to knowing your style so thank you again for watching today's video talking about cute throne i gave you the bare basics of cute throne guys bare basics bare basics stay tuned because we're going to do a live and talk even more deep about that one on facebook and instagram live Follow me on Facebook, Kiss by Bo. Follow me on Instagram, Kiss by Bo. You feel me? And then we're just going to talk deeper about that. So if y'all have any questions about that, without even knowing your style right now, we can just get to the nitty gritty of you having your cute throat on because it's all about you feeling good and looking good and what you got on. Has been a real one with y'all today. Stay tuned. Also, um, listen to me guys um check me out on joy 107.1 in columbus ohio every saturday at 3 p.m we're gonna be talking about all these style tips as well so y'all got y'all got it for real for real all the style tips but we just give them the precursor of all these style tips joy 107.1 3 p.m on saturdays on the alan stowe show so stay tuned guys stay tuned and shout out to all of my new subscribers right now if you like this video like it if you want to share it share it um, and please always subscribe because that just really helps me. I'm just telling y'all all that helps all that helps Tell me guys right now in the comments below tell me in the I know this is so long now Tell me in the comments below guys which one of y'all which one of these tips y'all favorite tips put them in the comments and we're going to discuss it Hey, it's been real Over and out